guys, I still see these loadouts, these weird loadouts. Like, how can it happen that you bring an AAC with a T3 armor, no helmet? How can it be that you bring into the battleground a fully modded FAL worth 80,000 and you don't have like a proper equipment? You don't have a spare mag or something? I see these weird things happening. So we're going to stop this. Hopefully this video is going to spread and nobody is going to dress as a Timmy going forward. Hey! Uh, I put together three tier um, loadout recommendations. And um, basically what I want to do is you to think about it, which one to use for which game mode, because whatever you use, it needs to be balanced. You cannot put up a T3 helmet and then pick your H4 and go into normal mode. I mean, you can, but it just doesn't make sense because you're going to lose money. And everybody is like whining that I don't have money. I'm going to go broke. And that's kind of part of your inventory management if you don't waste your stuff. And if you put your stuff into action, that stuff needs to be balanced. Hey! Let me start with, with the T3 uh, thingy loadout. So first of all, I'm not recommending you to use a T3 armor because T3 armor is just useless. Most of the players are going to play with at least T3 ammunition. And that's what I, that's what I recommend. I mean, everything that is below T3, it just absolutely doesn't make sense. And you should even consider using T4 by default. I'm also using T3. Don't get me wrong, but you should be getting okay with the thought that spending on ammunition is good. You can kill the enemy with your ammunition, but you cannot, you know, take your T6 armor and then punch the enemy with that. So ammunition is one of the like most important things in the game. Okay. It's not the gun. It's not your helmet. It's not, you know, anything else you have in your, in your backpack or in your rig. And the second thing is, it's not related to loadout, but it's the timing, because if you are the one shooting first, then you have a huge advantage over the enemy. And in that case, it doesn't even matter if you have T3 or T4 bullet, because if you're starting to shoot them from the side, they're going to die anyways for the helmet. If you want to do a cheap loadout, then this is the helmet I recommend. Default cheap weapon could be MP5, but it could be anything else, AK-74, Skarrell, whatever. Please don't pick up like a huge rig if you're running in a cheap loadout. The rep simple, or there's another one that, that yellow-ish, is perfectly enough. The B3 Tactica could be an alternative, but I'm always running with the rep simple. I think it's just perfectly fine. And let me tell you why. So usually I have my nades in my pockets like this. And this is also going to help you getting stuff organized or keeping it organized. Okay. I don't want to go into loot management topic, but still I somewhat have to. So pockets, grenades, then in your rig, you're going to have one spare mag. One spare mag is enough. Don't Please, please don't bring like four spare mags into the battlefield because if you die, you're going to lose them all. If you survive, you're not going to make use of them because you have one in your weapon, one in your rig, eventually have two spare mags, but that's the maximum. No need for a third one or a fourth one. And yes, I still see people running with four magazines in their rig. It's just a waste of, waste of space and you cannot pick up other stuff. So you should be getting used to having one um, magazine in your gun, one in your rig, and then bulletproof case is where you put all of the extra ammunition you want to bring into the battleground. I think you should be calculating with like 150 bullets per game, 150 up to 200-ish should be fine. Don't waste your bullets on bots, for example. And the reason why I have it like this is because if you are reloading then and you don't have space in your rig, then it's going to automatically put the primary magazine into your backpack. We don't want that. If your backpack is full and uh, you are reloading, then it's just going to drop the magazine on the floor, on the ground. 
you need to actually look for it. Otherwise, you're going to leave it behind. So if you have an extra space in your rig, which you can use for, let's say, reserved for reloading, I think that's perfectly fine. In the cheap loadout, I think the um, cheap search kit is, is enough. Always have some bandages because if you are bleeding, especially against bots, then you're losing constantly HP and it's very frustrating if you just keep bleeding. So have bandages. They are cheap like and they are just eating up one space. So have that. Um, liquid painkillers, this is the one I recommend or you can pick up the, what is that? The peels, the blue ones. This one. But this costs uh, 4K and one liquid, uh, 750. So you're better off if you're just uh, buying three of them. And uh, pick pick any any of the mat kits. You don't need to use the the faction mat kits. You can actually go with this. Um, what is this? This black one. And for the backpack, again, don't don't like overdo it. For this loadout, the old bag is just perfectly fine. Hey! So now the second one. Okay, T4 absolutely required. Okay, for the default lockdown set. So don't play. T3 again, just a reminder, don't play with that. For the helmet, and I didn't say that with the previous uh, loadout, but the helmet actually doesn't really play a big role. And let, let me explain why. In most of the cases, you're going to face enemies who are in front of you. They're not going to shoot you from the side, and therefore they're going to most likely hit your face. The These masks, they somewhat protect you what is it? Armor class three. They somewhat protect you, but they are kind of useless against the T4 ammunition. You're going to get shot in the face and you're going to die. And therefore the helmet is like not the most important factor in the game. You could actually make a habit of not buying a new one. So whenever you buy a helmet, then change that to like new because you can save some money. Okay. So don't buy new helmets because it just doesn't make sense for the t4 armors i don't really have like a strong preference pick whatever you like and in terms of headsets i usually use two of them so either the m32 as the basic or the gs2 if i run in a higher equipment for this loadout you could be running the ak-74 it could be a uh, um, um, slightly modded FAL, a slightly modded M4. I think the price range for the gun should be somewhere in between like 40,000 and 60,000. If you are planning to play with a gun which is above 60,000, then please don't play with a T4. Pick up a T5 because that's like protecting you just, just a tiny bit more. It's not going to save your ass, but it's like a tiny bit better. And um, the difference here with the rig is that instead the the painkillers like the single painkillers i have like uh, um, th this box with um with six uh, painkillers and then search kit and i didn't put any med kits into my rig but you know th there's actually one so you could have more of them um and i didn't say it with the cheap loadout but don't forget to bring something to drink okay especially if you are um, using search kits, you're going to get thirsty. And if you get thirsty, again, you're going to lose HP, similar to if you start bleeding. So always have uh, something to drink in your rig. You may not know, but if you're running out of stamina, if, and if you pop one of these, then your stamina is actually jumping up. So always drink these when your stamina is low. For example, if you're running from one location to the, to the other, and uh, for the bag, just pick up something that is bigger. Not the biggest one, but not as small as the old bag. Hey! And now, guys, now we're going to go wide with the advanced, not advanced, with the top, with the high tier loadout. Okay? So, T5 helmet. And this one is a great one, by the way. You can choose something else, but this is a great one because it has a face shield. You don't need to have an additional, um, what is that, um, headset. And then T5 armor, eventually T6, a big rig, that's like this FA multi, what is it? Multi something. Um, into this, you can actually start putting some, some um, 
injections, maybe a bit more drinks, a bigger painkiller package, the bigger mat kit, the bigger search kit, and obviously the bigger backpack. And I'm not sure if it makes sense to you, but what I just described is what I feel like is balanced. So if you have a low tier weapon, then pick a low tier helmet and low tier armor and don't overdo any of the equipment, okay? Because you're gonna waste money and you just, yeah, you're just gonna waste money and it just doesn't make sense. And I personally don't like stuff which doesn't make sense. And obviously very important to highlight. So if you're running an H4 like this one, then please don't use T3 ammunition. Never. I, I actually got some guns recently. AX, I'm not sure if they are here. These 70,000 and the other one also 70,000. And those guys who were carrying these guns, they were running with T3 ammunition. It's not loading by the way. But there you go, with a tilt, uh, with a nice scope. This one doesn't have a scope even. But if you're running such a gun, then guys, don't think that it's going to save you. It's the ammunition. Hey! And this is actually it. This is what I wanted to show you guys. But there's one more thing, okay? Looting and, and how to pick up stuff. So it, And I'm going to be very quick. Everything you want to pick up and keep and you are sure you're going to extract with that, Put it into the bottom of your bag, okay? Then you're gonna have items you may be using during the game, uh, whatever. For example, you pick up uh, search kits from the enemy, put them up here, top of your bag, because those are the items you may want to replace if you find something that is better, okay? Everything that relates to medical stuff, health, injection, drinks try to put them into your rig so it shouldn't be the case that you are picking up ammunition for example and you have it like this you have two types of ammunitions in your rig and then you maybe have i don't know one one dog tag and then this lcd this is gonna mean that you open your character screen and you have no clue kind of what to drop what to replace but if you have everything organized and kind of keep to the basic rule, which is putting medical items into your rig like this, then you can quickly check if you want to sacrifice that item, if you find something that is better. Same applies to the bag. Put everything down to the bottom, which you feel you definitely need. And then obviously you can start using the you know, put the rig into your bag and then whatever you have in the rig, that's something you definitely want to extract with. And the more you are kind of outside of that rig, outside of your bag, top of your bag, those are the items you may want to replace. I hope this made sense, but if not, then leave me a comment. And actually, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Don't dress as a Timmy. Stop doing that. Uh, because you're wasting your 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 money, okay? Um, shoot, loot, subscribe, and as always, see you in the next one. Happy gaming, happy hunting. Shit out. Bye.